So for batting team master, I really like my recent video in regards to my review on the X1 unit. So they sent me another unit called the U2, just like the Rock Band. So this one can support up to 15 devices, uh, complete IR code on the cloud, advanced OLED display, and customizable Marco key, customizable remote button, and you can use the mobile app to control this. So along with it, you got the QR code for both Google Play and App Store as well. So uniqueness about this is that it doesn't come along with the hub. So I'm not sure whether this is a later version or previous version to the X1. So um, I'm really excited to find out how cool this device is. So enough said, let's get into the unboxing. So. Here it goes. So let's tear this open. Nice. So very simple indeed. So we got the instruction manual. Pretty straightforward. All right, so this comes with a battery function. All right, so comparing it with the X1 remote control, immediately you can see there are way more buttons to press. There's power on and off, source, the wheel button, which is really cool. Um, you can't press it by the way this is a tv button uh, option home information and um, we got the teletext button as well so it's thicker as well comparing to the x1 so it's a minimalist more into practicality uh, i think this is for targeting older generation if you miss the good old times now one thing's quite interesting about this is that even though it doesn't come with the hub it still has a function of IR learning as well. So if there's a certain signal that you want to register to this device, this can, it sounds like, learn a new signal as well. But if you think about it, it makes more sense because if it runs out of battery, you do not need to charge it and wait. It works immediately. And I do like that. There you go. So switch to new device. If I press to U, device and press here okay so I pressed it and it says to connect and you can see that it's connecting and now it's updating the firmware as well okay so it's all been updated on the top left if we press those three dots it's just general information about sofa button contact support team settings and etc so if we go back if we were to add, uh, you can either do the infrared or the Bluetooth. So let's do the infrared, shall we? So you can either go for learning or searching. So I would much prefer going to searching. And then all you need to do is type in what sort of brand and what sort of make model it is and you're all good to go. So I found the cloud data for my LG Curve TV. So these are the lists that I could test before I actually uh, go ahead. It actually says do not press so quickly on it, but if I press next. So after you choose, you just got to wait for the data to be downloaded and then transfer to your U2 remote control. So as you can see, I got the LG TV and the Samsung DVD registered. So all I need to do is scroll. But if I want to register something that is not available on the cloud, you can certainly press the add button on the app. And then what it's gonna say is infrared, then you need to go to learning, okay? So what you need to do, it shows you that one or two inch away from the front side of the remote control, that's what you need to do. Press next, so you've got this power button here, okay? So if you press that power button, then it's asking you to press that power button against the remote control, okay? So let's press and hold that for a few seconds. Oh, it's registered. Okay, that's cool. So you can see that the green circle is shown saying that it's been registered, okay? So let's do that again. So let's do up on the okay. And then we're gonna do the up. Okay, we're gonna press up again. Can you see that bar going up, that blue? So that's how it's registered. This is so much fun, isn't it? So once you're happy registering all the keys, then you just need to press next and you can change the name, whatever you want, and also the icon as well, whichever you prefer. And then once you go back, you just press next and it's all good to go. So let's see whether we have the Dyson hot and cool model available on the cloud, shall we? So let's press uh, Dyson. 
Cool, we got dice in here so far. And this is AM05, but the starting line is AM07. Let's try that one out anyway. So, okay, it's actually guiding you which button to press. So let's actually try that next. And Dyson is like a fan. So yeah, that looks like the fan to me anyway. So let's complete and try it out. Okay, so moment of truth. Let's press OK and power on. Oh, did you hear that? So if I were to adjust the fan, <laughs> it's working. That's amazing. So also for the heat as well, if you actually zoom in there all of a sudden. So if I were to press the, um, look at that. So it's going up. So that's working. That's amazing people. So this can be used for Dyson remote control as well and also different types of home appliances as well. So this is really impressive indeed. So well done for that. So let's do a quick run through, shall we? So I'm on the um, LG, which is the TV. So let's press it immediately. It works. That's beautiful. Less than a second, people. That's a really good sign. So let's wait to see it's working. Cool. So let's do some check on the volume up and down you can see those plus and minus for the volume so that's all seem to be working pretty well isn't it so let's actually turn it off again immediately it works so let's see whether it works on my samsung as well so all i need to do on my remote is choose the samsung for dvd and then press power and immediately it works that's beautiful isn't it so you can see all the menu popping in. So all I need to do is go right and um, left as well. And down and etc. So um, that's pretty much it, I would say. And then if I want to go back to the TV mode, all I need to do is just scroll up and down. I don't even need to press OK. You just need to make sure it's on the right um, device on the screen itself. So that's really easy to use. So we've got three different types of remote control. First one is the Samsung TV remote control, which is overly complicated with the button and it's only compatible with Samsung devices only. Uh, you can control up to DVD as well, which is Samsung brand as well. But if we move on to a sofa button U2 remote control, it's much more simplified. There's a lot of logic applied to it. It makes a lot of sense and you can register up to 15 devices as long as it's a infrared functioning device or Bluetooth again as well. But if we move on to X1 remote control by SofaBatten, it's very minimalistic and a really cool, thin and simple design. I'm not really sure though which one came first, whether the U2 or the X1 remote control. I think each of them actually compensate each other. If you're more into techie side, younger generation, I'm sure you're gonna like the uh, X1 remote control so that you can actually uh, plug in if the battery runs out. It's a typical sort of younger generation feel. But if you're an older generation, I guess, you like the way how the battery works immediately when you replace it, that's how it works. Um, again, if you like the simple design, younger generation, again, it's X1. If you're an older generation, you wish there was a bit more button on it, it will be the U2 remote control and so on. So I have to say, are yet not sure which one came first because they're both really well thought, processed, designed, remote control indeed, and so on. So I'll leave that up to you. Anyhow, I hope this video summarized how cool the U2 remote control is by SofaBatten. But if you have any queries, please do comment below. And thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.